guys, Dana with the OT Guide. Today's video is all about my number one strategy to increase writing speed. This strategy is helpful for everybody, but it's particularly useful for students who struggle with reading disorders. So the strategy I'm gonna talk about today is chunking. So chunking is the process of taking larger pieces of information and breaking it down into smaller bite-sized chunks. And using chunking during reading and writing can improve both reading and writing fluency and comprehension. So I want you to take a moment here and flash back to when you were in middle school, high school, college, and the teacher was at the, the front of the classroom, rapid fire, writing things down. And it was your job to copy like as quickly as you can without missing a beat. Chances are you were using chunking. So here's a quick example. Let's say I had you write down the following phrase. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Some of you, this would be no problem. You could remember that whole phrase in your head and trans transcribe it really quickly and have no problem whatsoever. Others would have to have me say the phrase like several times, maybe twice, three times, four times, depending on how many chunks you break it into. So some might first break it into the quick brown fox, pause, they write that down, then I say the sentence again, and they copy the second part. Some would have to break it down even more, the quick, they write that down, brown fox, they write that, they write that down, and so on and so forth. So for many of us fluent readers and writers, Chunking is just a strategy we subconsciously use all the time and we're not even aware of it. But for some of our kids who are not fluent with reading and writing, this is a skill that needs to be explicitly taught. Some kids, once you teach them how to chunk, it is like a night, a day and night difference. Like their writing speed just improves tremendously. It is like this, this light bulb moment for them. So this is how you know if you need to teach your student how to chunk. First thing you do is you write a sentence down. Uh, and you have them copy that sentence and you just sit back and you watch. So I did this with a student and I immediately noticed that after every letter, so we wrote a phrase, I don't know, it was like, I love going to school. And I noticed that every single letter he had to glance up. So he would write I, L, O, V, E, space, G, O, meaning every single letter, there was a pause. He was lifting his head up to go to look at what letter was next. That was a sure tell that this child is not chunking. Okay, so how do you teach a child how to do it, how to chunk? What I do is I simply act out what they're doing, kind of like I just did in this video, where I say, little Jojo, this is, this is what you're doing right now. And I like over exaggerate the pauses and looking up in between every single letter. And I say, now watch me. This is what I do. I L O I L O V E V E G O I G O I. You just increase the amount of letters that they store in their working memory to then transcribe onto paper. Or if they're able to, you can chunk by full words. So you can chunk by saying, I love, I love going to, going to school. Teaching my kids this strategy has been like such a game changer for their writing speed um, to the extent that like kids after our session, after I teach them this skill, will self-report like, this makes writing so much easier. Like it's just like this huge moment for them. So chunking, give it a try. Tell me how it goes with your students. And if this video was helpful for you all, please like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all here next time. Bye.